Each one of us knows what black holes are. For the very least, we know they are giant holes in space. However, unlike everything in the universe, even these almighties will come into an end someday. But the question is, how? How can that happen? Can they evaporate? Before speaking of Hawking radiation, let's take a step back and explain what black holes are. Black holes are born at the end of a star's life, stars that are 20 times or more bigger than our sun. When the balance between gravity and the energy of fusion is interrupted, the core collapses. And since these stars are so massive, gravity will overcome the enormous resistance of neutrons. And here where things get crazy. Their core collapses and the outer parts crash down on the inner part, compressing matter into a tiny place in a fraction of a second. This collapse continues all the way down, down to a point, and here where gravity becomes so strong that not even light can escape. And a new black hole bursts into life. Because no light can escape, we perceive them as black spheres, and generally they have a singularity at their center where all the mass of black hole is trapped and where gravity is infinitely strong. Enclosed by the event horizon, the parts we can see when we look at a black hole and the point of no return. But they are not immortal after all. In the 1970s, Hawking discovered that contrary to conventional wisdom, black holes can emit subatomic particles. He realized that they radiate their mass away in a very, very slow process of quantum mechanics. And that's what is now known as Hawking radiation. This loss continues unstoppably and it accelerates as the black hole gets smaller, until it eventually evaporates completely in a burst of radiation. But how can that happen, and why it's referred to as evaporation? To start with, empty space in reality is not empty. It's filled with virtual particle pairs that pop in and out of existence, and they disappear as soon as they get in touch with each other. This blinking in and out of reality is called annihilation. Energy is preserved and nothing changes. However, if this happens on either sides of a black hole's horizon, that's another scenario. The duality seems not to disappear, one of the particles is lost in the black hole before the contact, while the other one escapes into space as Hawking radiation. In this case, this lost radiation caused the black hole to lose a little bit of energy, and this loss of energy is related to a loss of mass under the principle of Einstein's equation, and that's what evaporation means. And for the evaporation time, it depends on the temperature of the black hole. Temperature is inversely proportional to the mass of a black hole, thus the larger the mass, the lower the Hawking radiation temperature. This means small black holes have high temperatures, and they will radiate heat very quickly. As a result, they have small evaporation time. However, giant black holes will take trillions of years before evaporating. But the logical conclusion is, if they are not sucking matter, they will eventually disappear. They are not immortal after all. Hit like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more because the best is yet to come.